All right, welcome back. Welcome to Go Players to another episode of the Purify Podcast. Today is July 5th, 2021. I am your host, Luis Palacios, with my co-host, Chris. Hey, it's your boy, Pokemon Trigger, please. How you doing? How you doing? It's been rainy, as you can see by Pure Lighter's uh, Pokemon Go screen. <laughs> uh, we had to avoid some lightning. We got some warnings today, uh, uh, but we're staying safe. There have been a lot of things going on, for sure, today. <laughs> Um, and a lot of going things going on last week and this week and everything else is going on. Like, seriously, there's just too much going on this, uh, this week. I don't know. I don't know. But aside from that, how's your week been, brother? Uh, it's been all right. Been a lazy week for sure. Yeah. Um, despite, uh, the calm day being triple stardust. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I've still, I've still felt pretty lazy. Yeah, I oh, I, we we have so much to talk about about the calm days and everything because seriously, to all to say, I was lazy myself too, and you can tell probably by my um, eh, you know my my holes last week and how I went through. But yeah, it wasn't like the, uh, I wasn't like a super grinding. I should have grinded, but I was like, I was at work and all the stuff. I'll get to the story in just a moment, guys. <laughs> if not, we're we're gonna be off screen or or off. Uh, podcasts and everything then just you know whatever we're supposed to be doing anyways we are here once again to talk about pokemon go news updates and ranted about pokemon go because we love the game just as much as you do we can remind her that we are part of the professor network and if i can have this correctly we are part of the professor network please check us out at professornetwork.com slash bureau for podcasts wonderful people to work with every single time always 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 check them out so all right, so I guess we should recap our week while I do this right here. So, what you got for me, Chris? All right, all right. Okay, four star, comma shiny. Um, yeah, I think all of my shinies are from Calm Day. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, shinies and Hondas. And, 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 and. Did you get any Hondas? Uh new. New. Not e- not even uh, the elusive pig. Now, well, um, yeah. Other than that, it's just kind of been grinding. Um, I guess getting the Deoxys's I can and trying to get those good ranked ones for Ultra League. Yep. Um, because I think it's gonna be OP, honestly. Definitely Ultra League. Definitely. I mean, they're giving us enough weeks to be able to farm down the extra large candy for it, anyways. But it's just one of those things where I'm like, ah, do I really want to do it because there's no shiny available? You know, kind of the thing. And I, I would rather just get some extra large candy so I don't have to grind as much later on, uh, and then maybe walk it a little bit after that. You know? Yeah. Well, Make I it mean, a little bit less money. I'll definitely be draining as much as I can, but not as hard as I want to. You know? Because it's one of those things where mm-hmm. we're just like, unfortunately, it's not the shiny, and we'll definitely talk about what we we're talking about in the new section because we we're kind of skipping everything from that from that new section but yeah uh, the Easy. access they form for the foreign form is here the fortunately the shiny is not available so there's really not much of a point of getting one unless you get a hondo for ultra league and that is of course extra large candy and all that so yeah that's it uh as for me my holes um i got one hondo and just the the shinies from community day as I'm telling you, I have not, uh, like, I can just go ahead and recap Calm Day here for you guys. I did not grind Calm Day as I usually do. Uh, there wasn't much that I really wanted. I had already 300 tepics going into the event. Uh, so there was, like, literally no incentive for me to actually play aside from getting the shiny. So I ran the Gold Plus the entire time. I, saw, I was at work for, like, literally half a day anyways. By the time I got off, you know, I had other things to do, so I wasn't like I needed to actually play it. But I was running it anyways. I was uh, gaining as much Stardust as I could. I wasn't running a, like a star piece, though, because I, w- I didn't have a lot uh, to go about it. I know I got one from the special research, and then I w- had another one from uh, just the regular thing. So, um, again, it wasn't like the biggest grind. And, and the Go Plus doesn't catch all the Pokemon. <sighs> Give me. It doesn't catch it all the time, so I cannot grind it as much as it should be. However, um, surprisingly enough, I only went with four shinies uh, this calm day for all six hours of running the gold plus, and I was actually surprised because usually 
usually I'm getting like 10 or 15 just by running the gold plus. And I'm just like, I was surprised because I didn't get my first shiny until like almost two hours into the event of doing gold plusing. And that was because I was at work, but still, mm -hmm. that was just, I was actually surprised on the rates and everything. Hey, thank you very much, Devil Place, for the follow. But yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. I was like super surprised that I wasn't getting that many shinies as I usually do when I'm running the gold plus most of the time. So, mm -hmm. eh, it is what it is. Ah oh, man, did I didn't get anything? <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, yeah, that that's pretty much it. Maybe this uh, the Oxus is a hundo twelve ninety nine. No, twelve seventy nine. That's not bad, I guess. I know I don't know the CP level for a rank one for Grey League, I guess. I don't remember off the top of my head, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. I did not know anything about that. So, eh, it is what it is. Did I catch it on the first wall? Thank you, Jesus. I didn't want to have to worry about this anymore. Uh, as for my hundo, uh, surprisingly enough, this is a funny story. So, we know that the Bidoof event was uh, the entire week last week and everything. Bidoof Day. Uh, and we'll talk about the Bidoof Day, the July 1st Bidoof Day. Uh, I didn't get any of the shinies for it. I didn't get any of that or anything. That was just like, well, okay. I mean, I already have one hundo. It was already a Barbaro by the time. And um, you know what happened? Right after come they ended, I go plus another hundo Bidoof. Full odds, too. I'm like, my god. This one doesn't have any of the special moves, but I was like. Okay, I guess that completes my Hondo family for the for that. But did you really appear after everything that happened? <laughs> I don't know. It Easy. Was, it was just one of those things where we're like, okay, I guess that's how it is, you know. But eh, eh it is what it is. I transferred most of everything. I really didn't want to keep it doof. It's not like I needed to have it anyways. So yeah, that was that was my Bidoof thing. My Hondo for the week. I, now, let me remember if I actually did get any more shinies. Did I get any more shinies? I don't think so. Yeah. But, oh, no. I did get one extra shiny. Yeah. Yeah, I did get one extra shiny. And this was actually a hatch. 10k hatch. Another shiny timber. Oh, it's yeah. It's going down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, not at the best of IBs. It's probably going to be Lucky Trader. That's two already. Because I Lucky Trader another one. So I need one more to complete the family. 10Ks have been doing good for me. A couple of eggs have been doing good for me. So yeah, not a bad haul. I do like uh, Embor's. Oh my goodness, that shiny is like horrendous. Zero one one. one I looked at, I look, I do like shiny Embor's um, shiny sprite on the game. The blue, oh yeah, the it's the one. only good one. Yeah, out of most of the starters, aside from Charizard, but you know. The Hot Wheels car. <laughs> Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just the Hondas and Chinese, of course. But we'll go ahead and recap what happened on July 1st, which was a Bidoof, Bidoof day for some reason. Just incredible Bidoofs, the memes of the world. I don't understand why the Pokemon Company and Pokemon Go had to go about it. It wasn't just the po that, like, it literally... Bidoof was across all games. Like, even probably Sword and Shield at this point. I don't think this is Sword and Shield, though. Anyways. <laughs> um, it was just all Bidoof. So, they made it a, a Bidoof day. I literally, I don't know why. Uh, Bidoof will be, uh, did appear the entire breakout. Uh, more, it was in, like, you can see. It was a little bit, basically Bidoof Community Day. Because you can TM, basically, you can TM the moves. You can do all the stuff. It will be in one stars, three stars, and five star Bidoofs. Did you ever do one? Did you ever do a five star Bidoof? No, no. I I didn't realize the event was so short. Yeah. Um, once it was turned to maximum. <laughs> um, so I had gotten home, and uh, I was just chilling, and then um, the before I knew it, the event was over. Yeah. I was like, no. No, the five star Bidoofs. I even think somebody invited me to one, but I was like, I'm not using a remote raid pass on a five star Bidoof. I know, right? I'm sorry. Especially, especially if a um, a five star 
remotes for just a Bidus, and I'm just like, nah, I don't need this. I, yeah, I don't nah. need this. Uh, so, but yeah, that's basically how they went, went. Just Bidus everywhere, no matter what you're doing. Even the Pokemon company trolled us um, that day, and I was like, hmm, I'm about to rethink my life now, because... <laughs> Bidoof is the new secret third mascot. First, yeah, I guess. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, we had that, the raids, we had Shadow Bidoof. Uh, we also had the Bidoof Cup in GVL, which people were just like memeing the entire world of it. A uh, research, uh, special research story for Bidoof, uh, an Abbott and Hats. And then, of course, the bonuses was four times cash experience for the entire day um, from 10 to 8 that day. So. Uh, I don't know. I don't know really if what else I could say. I, I, as fortunately, again, it was an event that happened right after the last podcast and everything, so we didn't have time to cover it. And of course, it was announced and played on the same week, so it wasn't much that we could do afterwards. It is what it is, you know. It is yeah. what it is. Uh, I'm sad though. I didn't get any shiny bidus, you know, because of the meme. Just to be the meme. Me neither. I know. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that basically was our week last week. Yes, not nothing more but Bidoof's and a lot of other stuff. Which now I guess we should get going to the research topics because we have a lot to talk about then. And what is the very first things that we're going to be talking about there, Chris? Uh, let me take a look. Look, <laughs> look, look. Ooh, okay. July mega news. Hello. Coming in July. Oh, and we got a big boy to talk about. A little Pokemon Go Fest 2021 news, okay? Yes, well, a lot more to talk about, plus, you know, our mega hold of news for the month of July. It's just the, uh, the most common thing to happen at the end of each week, or each month, I'm guessing. Uh, we just start getting, like, what we're going to have, what the events are going to be pretty soon. Uh, actually, now, because it was I started July 1st. Uh, we're going to be talking about what's coming, coming in Pokemon Go. So, the very first thing, of course, is the July Research Breakthrough. This one is a juicy one for a lot of people, just because, uh, you know, either they don't play the events or uh, they don't do GBL as much. But the, very, the next Research Breakthrough box, which is now live, is uh, Rufflet. The, uh, the American Pokemon, as people call it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Maribird. Maribird. Uh, we also, of course, get the extra bonus uh, in July of the free remote rate pass and the double experience for research breakthrough boxes. I kind of like this incentive. Do you know that uh, the reason why they put in the remote rate passes is just to make people actually play a little bit more instead of getting one free one every single time, every single week? I feel like this is a good transition that they did to make sure that if you really want to use a free Romo Ray Passes every single week, at least once a week, you do have to go through seven days of it, of um, uh, research breakthrough to get to that point. Instead of getting a free one every single time, it makes the player go out a little bit more. And I think that was the initiative when it came to actually getting to the research breakthrough box and all that stuff. Do you think so too, Chris? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's people that aren't happy about it because they got to play the game a little bit more. Um, but I do think it's kind of more fair uh, on Niantic's side because, um, you know, they want people to play the game they uh, the way they intend it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily. But then again, I'm already playing it that way. So, yeah, well, <laughs> so I've got no complaints. Yeah, for the people that have been playing the game, you know, 24-7 or, well, not 24-7, but at least once a day, every single day, and do all these streaks. Uh, it doesn't change the fact that, of course, you know, uh, you just do it every day anyway. So, Although I have not taken advantage of the double experience. Every time I do my research breakthrough post, I just open it right away instead of putting a lucky egg down. That's my mistake. Same. Same. Yeah, so. Anyways... Uh, how about you get us through the race there, Chris? What are we expecting for race for the next month, for the rest of the month? Little raids, little raids. We already talked about Badoof hmm. uh, <laughs> with that little fun shindig. Uh, but uh, the mythical Pokemon Deoxys in the defense form, which is a god in PvP, will still be here until Friday, July 16th at 10 a.m. local time. 
Uh, so get it while you can. It's a uh, god in both leagues. So, you know, I'd, I'd try to get one for both leagues if you can. Uh, then, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo will be appearing in five-star raids from Friday, July 16th at 10 a.m. to Friday, July 23rd. So that's a week at 10 a.m. local time. If you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny Mewtwo. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, we go from a psychic uh, mythical to a psychic legendary. That's pretty dope, you know? Same raid counters. Be ready. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Um, we also have other things, actually. Stay tuned for updates for Pokemon's appearance after July 23rd. Uh, so we are, have a mystery, technically, for the last week, uh, or the last two weeks, I guess it's two weeks. I don't remember what's the last day of here. Uh, the last week of July, basically. So we have a mystery Pokemon or mystery legendary happening during that time. This will be post Golfest, of course. So uh, be ready for your counters. Just like Chris says, we do have the same counters because both of them are psychic type Pokemons. One is harder to take down than the other just because of the defense part of it. But eh, it's not too bad when it comes down to it. Um, Shiny Mewtwo and, of course, a weak worth of Mewtwo will make, basically just make uh, Master Mewtwo just the more powerful anyways. I do have a Hundo and a couple of Shinies, but I do kind of want the Shundo. That's my main goal, to get the Shundo Mewtwo. Um, but of course, I wouldn't mind actually getting the Extra Large Candies for uh, Extra Large Mewtwo for the uh, Go Battle League, because uh, Master League Mewtwo, it's always good. It's always good. Oh, yeah. Yes. Safest choice, in my opinion. Yeah, so I'll be doing as many Mewtwo as I can, just because Mewtwo is a godsend Pokemon anyways to get. Uh, of course, don't forget that we do have um, GoFest coming up in the next two weeks, two weekends. The Alex is just getting the ball. <laughs> um, and that's not bad, to say the least, of course. And, you know, Shiny Mewtwo is always Shiny Mewtwo, so you can go around about that. Uh, we will also be having some Mega Raids happening. Of course, Handum, Mega Handum will be the first one from July 1st all the way to July 16th. Mega Gengar will all be from July 16th to July 23rd. And then Mega Charizard X from uh, July 23rd to all the way to August 6th. Doesn't, doesn't this give you a hint of what's to come at the end of the month for raids? Because Mega Charizard X is a fire and dragon type Pokemon. So maybe they're preparing us for something dragon wise? Question mark? Possibly. You know? Personally? I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at only a week of Mewtwo. Right. And it's making me think they might bring back Armored Mewtwo, to be honest. I'm I'm only hopeful, though. Uh... I know it's, it's, it's a very small chance, though. Um, uh... <laughs> but I just want to mention it really quick, because I breezed over it. Um, Mewtwo will appear as a Go Battle League encounter for trainers rank 20 and up on the second day of Pokemon Go Fest 2021. It will be the uh, only Pokemon encounter, I believe. Only Mewtwo will appear as a Pokemon Go League encounter. Yeah, so that's the way it reads. So I'm assuming every single time you click on a, the encounter from Go Battle League, you should get a Mewtwo, is what it seems like. Only on the second day of Pokemon Go Fest 2021. So if you yeah. want something else than Mewtwo, you can wait a day. But yeah, but that means that I have to actually that sounds fun. play Go Battle League while I'm trying to do other race. Well, I prefer to do that than having to, you know, only have a minimum of 25 battles per day and things like that. So eh. Yeah, I, I'm thinking you could do it after the raids were gone, maybe. Um that'd probably be the best way. Unless unless you're getting raids from other places, which I get that. Yeah, definitely. It's just one of those things. Uh, Levitt, thank you for joining us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying when it comes down to that. I do think that's a possibility. That could be cool because, you know, a lot of people do want that shiny Mewtwo anyways. And the Go Battle League uh, battlers out there are insane anyway. So uh, that could be a good reward for the time that Mewtwo is allowed for that time frame. So that's good, at least, you know. Uh, okay, well, that's that. Uh, again, I was just thinking the Mega Charizard X could give us a hint of what's cut to come. I'm thinking maybe just a Dragon type. It could be Rayquaza again, but I don't know at this point. It could also be Saigar, uh, if they're trying to keep it a secret right after that. You know? 
I would appreciate Zygarde. That wouldn't be a bad idea. But anyways, uh, we also have, of course, every raid hour, which July 7th and the 14th will be Defense the Oxus, 21st will be Mewtwo, and then on 28th will be to be announced uh, raid Pokemon. Uh, what about the spotlight hours there, Chris? What do we got? A little bit of spotlight hours? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, July 6th, uh, Bulbasaur will be in the spotlight, and you'll get twice the XP for catching Pokemon. Um, a lot of people like to save their research encounters for days like these uh, for, you know, double Stardust, double XP. So keep that in mind if you're a grinder. Uh, Tuesday, July 13th, Charmander will be in the spotlight, and you'll earn twice the candy for catching Pokemon. Tuesday, July 20th, Squirtle will be in the spotlight, and you'll earn twice the candy for transferring Pokemon. Oh my gosh, the first three Gen 1. <laughs> I, I just realized. And then uh, Tuesday, July 27th, Natu will be in the spotlight, and you'll earn twice the XP for evolving Pokemon. And those are going to be our July uh, spotlight hours. So we got all three starters, Gen 1, and then, of course, Natu. Now, of course, the meme says that Natu is also a, a starter for Gen 2 for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, that being said, that's actually pretty good because we do have uh, a little more chances in that regard to get extra large candies for all of the three ones. Remember, all three Pokemons can be Mega Evolved, so we do want that extra large candy for every single one of those starters if you want to get through that. also want to thank you... Um, Jason for joining us on the stream and then Levitt also thank you very much for being here uh, Big Burrito thank you very much for the follow we appreciate it very much can I do a raid with uh, unfortunately I'm getting invited to raids so I, I actually don't have any gyms around my area as you can see so I cannot invite I do apologize but if you go to our discord we could actually coordinate some raids if you do exclamation discord you can always get us there uh, we're gonna get through the news if you guys have any more questions just let us know of course um, but yeah, that's our despite that hour is pretty good. And then we also have, of course, July Community Day, which already came and went. So there's not much to announce there since we already got our shinies and everything. We do have some events coming up that we're definitely going to uh, uh, take into consideration here. So the very first announcement, and of course, we'll actually go through the blog post to this because it, they just announced it today, which is good because it's starting tomorrow. Uh, and that is, of course, the Pokemon Go anniversary, because now, tomorrow is, well, at least for us, um, it is the anniversary of Pokemon Go, the fifth anniversary since the game came out. I hear, right here on my, um, trainer's card here, or whatever it is called, I guess, um, you can see that I started this game since July 5th. Wait, really? No, that's not it. <laughs> Start late. <laughs> July 6th of 2016. I have played this game for, for exactly five years. Almost never skipping a beat. I did skip a couple of days here and there for the first month, but it's still. Since then, I never stopped. That's how it is. <laughs> right, Chris? It's a grind. Mm. Well, did you ever, did you play Pokemon Go since the first day or no? No, I waited a day or two because I was like, is this game really all it's cracked up to be? And I believe I downloaded it the 7th. Um, so the, the next day after that then? No, no, I, down I downloaded it the 10th. Ooh. I really took my time. Yeah. Uh, but then after I downloaded it, I was hooked. Yeah, there was just nothing to go about it. You have to play it, right? Pokemon all day, every day. Uh. I play Pokemon Go every day. <laughs> Uh, so oh, we do have the Pokemon Go anniversary celebration happening tomorrow, uh, as us as is recording on uh, July 6th at 10 a.m. local time until July 15th at 8 p.m. local time. Now, we'll go through the whole blog post in just a moment. Uh, I do want to get through some of the other news here on the mega threat of July. Uh, we also have Go Battle 9. It's going to be on Sunday this time around, July 11th from 6 p.m. to 12 p.m., why are they doing this when we're on podcast services? I don't know, because they don't like us being live at this time for some reason. <laughs> um, so that's that. Of course, you can complete up to 100 battles. Uh, you can get Stardust for winning battles, complete all sets. Um, 
all that stuff, of course, that they will let us know. And then, of course, GoFest will happen from the 17th to the 18th, which we know most of the information about it. Uh, so that's pretty good. So your start date was on 7-7, so you will download it right after, that day after. Can you invite me? I don't have the ability to invite you. I do apologize. Again, this is all the race that I'm getting, I myself getting invited to. I cannot chain invite if you're this that's what you're looking for. So I do apologize about that. Uh, but yeah, that is the mega threat. So that's pretty cool. We have some pretty cool stuff coming in this month, right, Chris? Oh yeah, yeah. The it's an anniversary for a lot of things Pokemon related, especially just straight out of Pokemon Go. So there's a lot of stuff to look forward to for sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah, I think that that's good. So uh, before we go into the blog post of today, which was the, of course the anniversary, there's also one more thing that to mention about the GoFest, uh, the I guess the GoFest play play of uh, of the day of itself. So as you guys know, Niantic is pushing us going out back outside to be able to play with friends, with people, of course, in a safe environment, if you can, you know, you don't have to go outside if you don't want to. However, they are doing this special uh, in-game, in, or not in-game, but live event. It wasn't, it, it, I call it a special live event because it's not really that big of an event, but this is what basically they, they mentioned here. So, um, we're excited to announce that the real world Pokemon Go, uh, Go Fest celebrations will be held in more than 20 cities this year. While we can all gather on the scale of previous GoFest events, this outdoor and socially distanced experience will still certainly be worthy attending if you're nearby. Uh, don't worry that Pokemon Go Fest 2021 in-game experience will still be the same for everyone around the, wor around the world. However, trainers who attend these in-person celebrations can look forward to enjoying photo ops as they explore the city. Please note that these real-world celebrations are scheduled for Saturday, July 17th. Uh, and it will not happen on Sunday on Ray Day. So it only is one day. So if you wanted to plan out to actually go out to the cities and, you know, play the game during the time off, it will only happen Saturday. Nothing will happen on Sunday since it's usually just raids. I was thinking of just getting a ticket and flying somewhere because I wanted to take the hell out of here anyways. <laughs> but I kind of already have planned what I'm going to be doing for GoFest anyways. Um, in my own proximity, at least in my own city. However, the following cities will be appearing uh, their photo ops during Saturday. And of course, in Europe, we have a list of it that I'm going to butcher the names of. Uh, Linz, uh, AT, I guess. I guess I should probably just put it on the monitor. And if you guys want to check out, just go into the blog post itself. Because if not, I'm just really going to butcher these names. <laughs> um, we do have some for the USA. We have like... 10 cities in the United States. Now we're in Florida, unfortunately. I was hoping one in Florida, but eh. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking at that too. And then we have the Asian Pacific and, you know, the New Zealand area. So uh, it's only limited seating. You can only get it if you actually register through the link in their website. Uh, do be prepared that if you don't can get in, you know, it's going to be limited time anyways. So don't worry about it. Again, I don't think there's going to be that big of a deal. There's not going to be special extra bonuses or anything if you go to the cities itself or anything like that. So just, you know, if you want to just go out and actually enjoy the game as intended to be uh, and just meet up a couple of extra people out there and do some cool photos, things and everything, you know, nobody's stopping you to go over there. But if not, then just stay safe and doing whatever you, as you can. Uh, Mr. Pokemon, thank you very much for joining us. He says that he's going to the Indianapolis one. Hey, just let us know. I mean, if not our social media, just, you know, if you have anything cool or picture ways or anything, if you meet any Niantic employees there too, let us know. We got it. We got it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically, uh, that's basically it on that. You know, you think that that's pretty cool, Chris? What do you think about this, uh, small announcement? I think the best part is that they're trying to make it very uh, spread out instead of it just being in, you know, Chicago. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very interesting that it is all over, all over, all over. Yeah, no, I do uh, feel like that it's actually pretty good to have... Um you know, it could spread out throughout different cities and different places. These are mostly the, you know, the biggest spots to go out. Like one of the cities that they have, 
is of course Chicago, Illinois. We all been there. We all been doing all those things. Um, and then of course things like New York City, Seattle, Washington. You know, places where the game just thrives the most is where they're going to be putting this uh, a specific photo ops for the first day of Golfes. So I understand that's pretty cool. Uh, we do have somebody in the chat, CJ, uh, he will ask us if we got our tickets. I bought it already, so that's, I mean, the moment they went live, I bought it. Like, there's no denying. I requested the day off. We're ready to go for GoFest, guys. Uh, yeah, I, w- I wasn't worried about it selling out, so I was like, eh, I'll, wait, I'll wait a tiny bit. But well, uh, <laughs> I'll definitely be buying it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no denying that we, we got to get through. I did get a 96 Deoxys here. Hmm. 14, 14, 15. Not pretty bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, and then it's, uh, Levy asks me how many buttons I have. Infinite. Just don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many green passes. I, I'm never out and about now. Yes. Yes. The $5 ones is actually pretty good to have. Uh, or the $5 ticket for GoFest is the best deal you can ever have. Remember, guys, you get 21 free ray passes. Well, fast free regular passes and remote ray passes to actually play the event. So... Take advantage of him. Anyways, uh, we got a little too long about GoFest because we still got one more week to prepare before we actually go through that. Uh, but yeah, so now we're going to be talking about the actual event that's happening tomorrow, the celebration of the fifth year anniversary. And Chris, what do we have here for the fifth year anniversary? The fifth year anniversary. It, From what I saw so far, it looked like a fun one. I only saw a little bit so far, <laughs> but you know, happy birthday, Pokemon Go. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're listing every single thing that we've had come to Pokemon Go so far. What an incredible five years they've been. Remember back in 2016 when Pokemon Go was just about exploring the world and catching Pokemon? Well, this is still the core of the game today. The world of Pokemon Go is so much more than that. Here are some of our favorite features from each year, and they list them out. 2016, Buddy Pokemon. 2017, Raid Battles and AR+. 2018, Field Research and Special Research, Friends, Adventure Sync, and Trainer Battles, all in 2018. 2019, Go Snapshot, Team Go Rocket, and Buddy Adventure. Dude, the time flies, man. Dude. 2020. The Go Battle League. So it's only been out for like one year. Incredible, uh, right? Today view... T- I, th- I feel like it's been longer. I know. <laughs> uh, today view and uh, Remote Raids, Team Go Rocket Balloons, the first ever global Pokemon Go Fest experience. Thank you. Uh, Mega Evolution, Go Beyond Level 40, Seasons, and more. And then this year, 2021. So, so far... Because already <laughs> yeah yeah already this is this, <laughs> it's a lot collection challenges referrals new players uh together we raid real-time sky mechanic cannot wait to see that locally expanded pokedex classifications and i've already loved seeing what i've seen with those yes and they, yes. they still got more to come well, they still got more to come. This most year. of the last two things, the real time sky mechanic and the expanded Pokedex, at least I know that the sky mechanics will be happening at the day of the event starting tomorrow. Uh, so you, that's actually going to be pretty cool, even though we're going to be in rainy weather the entire day tomorrow <laughs> for sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. uh, as for the expanded Pokedex qualifications, I think it's rolling out as much as possible to the ones in New Zealand and New, and you know other parts of the, area of the world. But if this is what they're mentioning in the blog post, I'm pretty sure this is happening probably within the week of what the announcement is right now. Remember, it's only Monday today. There's definitely going to be way more news happening the rest of the week, and that's going to be interesting. So... Just like Chris has mentioned, all those things. It's amazing how much they have actually, like, you know, put out out there. It, I'm just surprised because every single little thing that they have added just made the game a lot more better. A lot more glitcher, but a lot more better. <laughs> I, I like to think of it as whack-a-mole. They Whack. fix a problem and two more jump up. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> but it's, it's definitely a fun time. Yes. So, to accommodate Pokemon Go's fifth anniversary... Well, there is a special event that's happening tomorrow, and that is including uh, five uh, five shaped balloon 
Pikachu, Darumaga, and more. Again, guys, this Pikachu can be shiny because its base form is shiny. Pikachu. So I really remember that. Oh, Darumaga. Okay, I don't know why that, that was live there, but okay. Uh, but yeah, that's actually <laughs> pretty cool. Um, all right, so this is happening from July 6th to Thursday, July 15th. Again, as I mentioned before. The features are Darumaka, flying Pikachu with a vice shaped balloon will appear more frequently in the world. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Darumaka. This is not counting uh, Galarian Darumaka, but it's still pretty cool to see. It's a cool Pokemon. I actually want a, a, a good one of Darumaka because it's one of the one of the only few fire type attackers out there that I really want to use, you know? It's a very interesting one, uh, especially with the buff to incinerate. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, so be on lookout for that. We also have things like Darumaka, Chespin, Fennekin, Froki, and Flying Pikachu with the five star appearing in one star raids. So technically, all the chances of being able to actually have Darumaka everywhere you can. Uh, I will definitely go for the Froki for me because I do want to hunt the Froki. Anyways, there's more to that. Uh, we have Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Turtwit, Chimchar, Piplet, Snipey, Tepic, Oshawa, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakim appearing more around Pokestop with Active Lords. And then after you complete your research, you can also encounter some of these first partner Pokemons in the wild. Including Bulbasaur, Charmander, and of course all the other ones I mentioned, because if not, I'm going to go through the entire list again. <laughs> Um, you will receive daily bonus fuel rich stacks that lead encounters with Bulbasaur. Uh, okay, don't get me go to the, <laughs> the list again. All the first star burn is Pokemon. Starter. Every starter that we have seen before and is available in Pokemon Go, of course. Uh, so that's pretty cool because I never really uh, thought about the first research that we get every time soon when you know, we get them through that. Uh, we also have a collector challenge that it's finally coming back after a couple of weeks of hitting this. Uh, this event will reward us with the Flying Pikachu, and as well as Rare Candy, and massive, mass uh, let me read it, massive amount of Pokeballs. I don't know how many. You better not <laughs> underwhelm us, man. I was about to say, I don't think, I don't know how they're, <laughs> they're a massive amount means. It's 50. Probably. 50? No, it better be 100. At this point, <laughs> I think they should just give us like 200 Pokeballs. That would be nice, you know? I'm I'm really thinking it's going to be 200, honestly. But okay. I think 100 is the minimum if they're saying a, 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 a massive amount. Yeah, I, I, I think so too for that reason. So that would be interesting to see. Uh, do we also have uh, the confetti, or I'm sorry, the fireworks that happened in, in the sky after GoFest last year. Uh, that will be a able to around the map, and of course, it will also happen during the real time um, uh, sky view of the game. So be on the lookout for that. Look out the sky in the game and see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And then we also have a for some reason we also have the jumpstart special research. Um, this one is actually for trainers that want to come back to the game. If people want to see through that, um, just up in the game during the day itself. Our codes will be available at some time later uh, today there, Jason. Don't worry about that. Uh, and then, of course, there is one more super cool thing. This says right here. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Milton when you activate the mystery box during the fifth anniversary celebration. Shiny Melton is coming back from Pokemon Go, guys. This is not a drill. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. It's... When was the last time we actually see Shiny Melton? Like, do you, you even know, I'm have trying any to Melton? think about that. Hold on, let me see if I have any I Melton. May... I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I got one from the last wave, too. But I don't remember. My last Melton that I got that I have here is from... January 1st. Six months, man. It's been six months. I just realized, I think I traded mine. Well, actually, no, because the one... I, I do believe that that's my Melton box is just catching all of a sudden. Uh, but I don't <laughs> think I had any shiny Melton during that time. So I know for a fact that I didn't have anything before. 
Ah, man, it's mm-hmm. been a while. It's just I know it's been a while since we actually got Shiny Melton back in Pokemon Go. So this is actually a very good thing. Do remember, the event happens tomorrow on Tuesday, July 6th at 10 a.m. So if you do really do want to take advantage of your Melton boxes, try to do it as soon as possible before 8 p.m. local time, any of the days, because you want to open it every three days to be able to get uh, the ability to get Melton. And we only have until July 15 to open all the boxes. So if you do a little bit of counting from tomorrow to the 15, you technically have uh, one, two, let's see, one, two, three. You could get, if you are lucky enough, you may be able to do four boxes of Melton's in one week. Four, which is pretty good because we actually have almost close to a week of this event. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have to plan it out correctly if you really want to get the chance of getting Shiny Melton in this box. I'm going all for it. Like I'm going to put reminders and everything to make sure that I remember. Uh, I'll definitely be doing my boxes sometime at nighttime, though. But that's because I don't have the chance of doing it early, earlier if I really want to take advantage of the event. Uh, so I won't be opening it. Anytime soon in the daytime, but I'll just put it in at nighttime. What about you, Chris? What are you thinking? Uh, I think it would be a fun like stream thing. Um, but off the top of my head, guys, don't forget now we can use Pokemon Home. So it's 10 times easier to do it just from the comfort of your phone, pretty much. Um, but, but yeah, I, I think you do have to confirm it on Pokemon Home on Switch sometimes. No, 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 no. You can do it all from your phone now, yeah. right? Yeah, you can do every single one of the yeah. transfers okay. to the phone. So okay, I'm not problem. crazy. Yeah. yeah uh, so it should be a lot easier for everybody, especially since Pokemon Home is free. Uh, at least the normal subscription that doesn't have, like, a ton of boxes. Yeah, definitely. Um, I do think that it's possible because you can also transfer or delete Pokemons from home. So if, you don't, if you're just going to transfer mm-hmm. one... Quick Pokemon, that's the, probably the easiest thing you can do to just get the Melton anyways. Um, transfer trash. Transfer trash, basically. But anyways, uh, don't forget it. Don't really forget it. It's it's uh, Having the ability to get a mythical Pokemon like, like Melton like this, it's not easy. And getting the Shiny has not been easy through the last few times it's been out. So uh, just be careful out there. Just do your boxes. Plan it out correctly, and you should be fine. That's really all I'm saying. Again, four boxes, guys. More like this. <laughs> I like that uh, Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, okay, so uh, we do have also some stickers that will be available. We do have, uh, I think they'll be live as soon as the event starts, but it's like the, uh, the, the three leaders, the three team leaders for us. So, uh, uh, you know, the po- I, I don't remember the names right now. I just think I forgot. All I remember uh, is Spark. Cliff, Sierra, and... Oh, oh, the oh, okay, the team leaders, okay. Yeah, our regular team leaders, the guys that were supposed to be the good guys from the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, I always thought Spark was the coolest one. I'm not gonna lie. No. The the only one I will always forget is <laughs> is uh, uh the team Valor gym leader, which is my team Can- leader. Can- Candela, Candela, yeah, Candela. I always forget her name. Blanche, Blanche, Blanche. I don't know how to pronounce her name anymore or his yeah. name anymore. So I don't. At this point, I'm like. That was close. Indeed. So, oh man, I really want to actually get that uh, rainy cast form over there. <laughs> uh, we also have an expansion to our bag. We're finally be able to get more items in our storage bag from 3,000 to 3,500. Thank you, Jesus, for this. <laughs> People are always struggling to get like much, uh, much of the boxes and everything. And it's just... It's just uh, welcoming when we can actually get more Pokeballs in our storage to catch more Pokemons anyways. Uh, and then, of course, we do have some new boxes in the shop. We actually have them live right now as the recording of the podcast. Uh, I think that all the adventure box is actually pretty good because it gives you 16 Super Incubators, 50 Ultra Balls, 4 Star Pieces, and 2 regular Incubators. Uh, the Ultra Box gives us almost the same, but instead it gives you 20 premium battle passes instead so that's actually a good one too 
Yeah, I can't remember the last time I saw 20 in a box. Yeah, yeah. Even though we've been doing more remotes anyway, so what's the difference at this point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the special one, of course, uh, is considered as one ray pass, uh, three incest, two is super incubators, and 50 Pokeballs, which is not bad because I kind of need more Pokeballs anyways. Um, mm. But yeah, so those are the news. And then, of course, the bonuses of this event starting tomorrow. All lore modules will last one hour for the duration of the event, including the Glacial, Magnetic, Mossy, and Rainy lore modules. So... That's not bad. Interesting. Yeah, well, it keeps us more in the same place, more than usual. So, I know for a fact that a lot of people were probably going to go ham starting tomorrow. Definitely. (laughs) Um, But this is a really good event. Now, to farm that extra large candy for each one of the starters is probably going to be the grind itself. Shiny Deromaka. Shiny Melton. There's a lot going on, Chris. How, How do you feel about this event so far? I didn't even need Shiny Deramaka. Being able to hunt Shiny Meltan again is definitely enough for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, having that extra little, you know, that little oomph. Oomph. Uh, definitely nice. Definitely yeah. nice. Deramaka ain't a bad one, in my opinion. It's not a crazy Shiny, but uh, he's a cool little Pokemon. Cool as it is. Uh, but everything else, again, guys, um, just farm down as much as you can. All the Pokemons could be possible extra large candies for everything that you can. It, it, the question to me that says that, you know, uh, they do give us the bonuses to for the starters to appear in the wild once we complete the uh, some special research or something, right? It says right here, something like that. Um... You can also encounter some of the first partner Pokemons in the world, including all of those uh, that they mention. But it says also, uh, will appear around Pokemon with active lures and after you complete field research. I don't know how that word is, but okay. I'm assuming they just mean the quests from Pokestops, but I don't know if they're just wording it a weird way. I'm pretty sure they're just wording it a better way, but that's how it is, you know? Yeah, uh, they're strange. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Either way, a lot of those Pokemons are going to be good to to do. Um, I'm definitely not going to be around lures too much. But I'll definitely be catching as much as I can for the other Pokemons out there. Yeah, if you live on a Pokestop, you're blessed with all these <laughs> starters. Dang it. You know, grind that extra large candy. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I know, right? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's the event. I, 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 I'm just, but that's about what it is, you know, so it's pretty good so far. All right, so I did mention about the storage increase. Let's, how about we get into some PvP section here, Chris? Get good, get red. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm, I've been getting wrecked. <laughs> I've been getting wrecked, all right. Uh, do you have anything for Element Cup? Element Cup? Uh, I've been watching some people do battles. Um, it's been very interesting. Uh, I think Cottony has honestly been kind of the top choice, which is very funny. Um, because you know, a lot of people talked about uh, Ducklet. Don't get me wrong, Ducklet is a staple Pokemon, but Cottony seems to be on a lot more people's teams, or more specifically, people are trying to counter Cottony a lot more. Because uh, it's just a more scary Pokemon. It's very hard to live against it, for sure. Well, do um, note that you, Cotney is the fun. only Charmer in the entire meta. Yeah, and, you know, people people like Charmers. Hmm. They do. Yeah, they definitely do. I, I can't and say I don't. <laughs> to be told, Cotney has some good defense. I've been seeing myself a lot of Element Cup around, and the defense on that Pokemon, even with weaknesses and everything, it still can survive up to a couple of fire types out there. If properly it, placed, you know? The fact that it can charm down a lot of fire types, uh, get them really low, is insane to me. Uh, you've been seeing a lot of Volpixes. Um, I'm trying to think of some other fires. That's the main one I've seen. Uh, I've seen but I think I've it's seen mostly because Slug- it has... Slugma from Speedish Chief. Slugma? Really? Yeah. Because Slugma has the, uh, I think, Rock Slide as the second move or something like that. 
Ooh. So it can okay. take down a ducklet pretty easily. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I know a lot of people have been running Volpix because it has body slam. So it's very neutral against a lot of people. That's for sure. That's for sure. But yeah, I, I haven't really mm -hmm. actually deep myself into Element Cup because I was just like, I don't have I any touch it. for this. I don't have anything for this. Like, There's nothing that, even if I wanted to, I don't want to spare the dust, the stardust or anything for this. So I kept saving ducklets and I never invested any dust into them. And I'm kind of happy because I would have sucked in Element Cup too. I feel like. <laughs> I think it was um, Chris from the GoCast podcast that said that he had a ducklet ready to go for the Element Cup and transferred it by mistake. Oh, it's under 500 CP. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much love to you, Chris. Um, but yeah, that, that, again, it's just one of those things. I do think that if you really do want to do LM Cup, because one of the things that actually is good about this cup is that it's fast paced. The battles go really, really fast. Um, you don't spend more than a few minutes on one of the battles because you're not, you know, staring down a Bronson and literally watching the timer go down. So, <laughs> um, it's a good thing when it comes down to it, but there's still some flaws when it comes to the, the type of Pokemons that can be there. If you really want to have a good, grindy, diverse meta when it comes to yeah, it's something like the MLM and Cup or something like that. So, uh, gotta get creative. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just like anything, there's always a meta for it, so it is what it is when it comes down to it. Anything for Master League? Have you tried any Master League this season? Yeah, I've been using a really weird, ugly team. Uh, I would definitely like to improve it, but the current team I'm using is a uh, gear... I've been doing uh, Master League Classic, by the way. Uh, I've been using uh, Garchomp, uh, Kyogre, and Dragonite. Right off the bat, what is a Pokemon that demolishes them? I see. Hold on. Can you repeat the Pokemons again? Archchomp. Uh Kyogre. Kyogre. And Dragonite. There is a certain Pokemon I see very often. Giratina? Togekiss. Oh. <laughs> Togekiss oh. is horrible. Yeah. Um, well. uh, what I really would like to do is replace Dragonite with um, Dialga okay. if I got a chance. Um, so hopefully in the future I can do that. But no, no, it's it's been really fun leading a uh, Garchomp. It is a mud shot, um, mud, what, what, sand tomb and uh, outrage. I've seen a lot of people say that Dragon Tail has a lot of play because you can actually Dragon Tail down things like Yveltal. Mm. Which is crazy to me, uh, you know, because normally you wouldn't be doing like any damage to Yveltal because uh, it's a flying type. I would think that that um, would probably more be mm -hmm. of a level fifty requirement for Dragon uh, Dragon Tail instead of uh, Mudshot because well, well, when it's forty against forty, it's not like a huge huge difference. Yeah, I think it depends just on how much of a defense you can actually go through that. But either way. Uh, I sh technically should be doing uh, Master Regular because I do have a, a couple of extra large, extra large Pokemon that I could use, like the Garnchop, the Dragonite. Uh, I want to do a Bell Metal, but I do want to get the Hundo before I try it. So this will be the event for me, yep. definitely. Uh, so once I get to that, and hopefully once I get through the event, I may be able to do some Master Leagues with Bell Metal, just regular Master League. Uh, I did dip myself into Classic. I destroy a guy just using two out of the three Pokemons, and he was just crying his eyes out. <laughs> uh, but either way. Um, so yeah, Master League, not too bad. Still same meta. If you have extra large Pokemons, cool. If not, then Classic is the, the, the ticket to victory. Uh, any Bidoof Cups? I don't think you did anything, right? Nope. <laughs> if I wasn't investing in uh, Element Cup, I wasn't investing in Bidoof Cup. Yeah. To be fair... It was a lot cheaper. Some people spent like 500000 in a Bidoof Cup. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you do that. Uh, These things have 10,000 Stardust for a second move. Do you need a second move on Bidoof? Do you? No. No, you run super power on that boy. He good. He ready to go. Uh, and it was only around for one day. I thought they'd keep it around a little bit longer. 
Uh, sadly, they did not. But it was very fun to see people fighting Bidoofs against each other. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, it was very funny when it comes down to it. So, pretty cool. But anyways, um, and then you have any updates on your fractions? Anything? Uh, factions, yes. Um, the team as a whole did not do fantastic in the last one. Let me look at the points. Um, right off the bat, I know I switched up my team and I made a horrible mistake. Horrible mistake. I decided it would be a good idea to put, um, Tropius on my team. Because I saw that they lost hard to Tropius in the bout before uh, my opponent. And um, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. He, he won't even know what's coming. He'll be like, he, there's no way this kid's going to run Tropius. No way. Uh, this man put two ice types on his team. And he also happened to have an ice beam uh, Jalison. I had no play with Tropius. <laughs> I, I tried bringing it. In every single match, he had two ice types and Jalicent. I could use Tropius against Jalicent, but it almost gets one shot by Jalicent. So I'd have to get it lined up perfectly. It, it was it was just horrible. It was horrible. Um, I think I had a win con in one of those matches, but it was a very tough battle. So I did not have a lot of play, uh, but we're going to be practicing a lot before this next bout. And we are very, we are looking to like demolish if we can against the Hoosier Daddies. I know they got, I think they got paired up against E4 in the last bout, and E4 went very, very hard on them. Um, so we're hoping we can do some of the same. I'm not thinking they're going to be an easy battle, uh, but I am looking forward to seeing the team uh, get a lot of wins. All right. All right. Well, this is the uh, uh, Smash or uh, uh, Switch Masters, by the way. Sorry, guys. Yeah. No, definitely for uh, those uh, new people. <laughs> uh, I definitely say that you will probably try your best. I know for a fact that everybody in Switch Masters is a hard grinder, anyway. So do what you can, do what you could, and just go at it. But yeah. Uh, all right, so I think that's uh, pretty much it. Do we have anything else that we have to cover? I don't think so, right? Mm, nothing really comes to mind. Definitely at the moment, nothing yeah, comes to mind. I definitely don't think so. Uh, the event, like I said, the anniversary event is already live out there in uh, other parts of the world. So let me see if I can get you guys real quick if you want to see how the pikachu looks like this is actually a very funny one so uh yep here we go there that's the pikachu that you guys have been looking for or for the fifth year anniversary it has a five on it in the middle and all the balloons out there so that's pretty cool <laughs> that is pretty cool we also have i think i believe the uh, collection challenge. So for the collection challenge here, guys, we do have, we have to catch every single starter from Gen 1 to Gen 7. Oh, well, 6. Uh, and the Pikachu, of course, to get a special encounter too. So that's good to know. That's not bad, I guess. Right, Chris? No, I, I don't think it would be the worst one. I know starters have uh, not fantastic catch rates. But it sounds like they're going to be all over the place. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. All right. So with that, I think that uh, we got a podcast here, guys. Let me just make sure this number is not shiny. Dang it. I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have anything else. We do appreciate everybody who's coming to the stream today. Appreciate it very much. Uh, thanks for all the follows again, guys. Um, you know, Make sure you check us out every Sundays. We usually do it on Sundays, but uh, we had to push it because of 4 July. So... Happy belated for July, America. <laughs> uh, of course, you can always check us out on our social medias and the podcast fees. You know, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Our Heart Radio, Stitcher, all those places that are pretty cool to have. If you can leave us a review, we would really appreciate it. Uh, my stuff, my social is Pure Let It Go. Chris is Pokemon Trigger, please. That's P K M N Trigger, P L Z. So make sure you check him out if you want to. You can always email us at 
the purify podcast at gmail.com if you have any questions concerns or anything else that you want to talk about 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 your pokemon say we would greatly appreciate it be the first one guys be the first one <laughs> and then uh don't forget to check us out at the purify podcast.com slash professor network wonderful people as always so if that's everything that we have today chris how about you take us away for the night all right all right okay we got a lot to look forward to again uh deoxys for those of you that do not uh have it did not get the opportunity before and you kept seeing it in go badly now is your chance to grab it and then uh soon we get to hunt for another shiny mewtwo uh i doubt it's gonna have any special moves but uh oh, shiny's a shiny um yeah get ready for go fest get your bags full of pokeballs and we'll see you guys out there grinding peace out keep purifying them we'll see you guys next week